Since this video, I'll show you Western dropshipping is that in 2019, and um, but I'll basically show you how to still do well with dropshipping because you know it's not that, um, and few things that you need to basically adjust and make. Uh, available in your business in order to still be profitable with it because obviously it got more competitive there are more people got into it and with our stores for example so we have several seven figure stores and funnels as you can see here and uh, you know we still do well so obviously it's not that it just few things have changed that you need to adopt and in this video I'll show you exactly how to do this is highly profitable so that what I want to share with you it's kind of like how to make it you know worthwhile for you and highly profitable where like you run dropshipping business and you don't go out of business right so um drop whether dropshipping is that in 2018 a lot of people have been talking about it like it's uh definitely got a lot more competitive so a lot of things that work like in 2016 2017 2018 they don't work anymore you know some products with low margins like very simple like website that you like you you simply had like uh just like less competition right and it was easier to make it work with like cheap products like lower conversion rates um very simple websites right it was easier to make it work and then scale up but now facebook ads are very competitive right so if you still want to do it then it's possible but you need to adjust your strategy and your ads need to be very good if you want to be competitive with facebook so in my experience like click through rate link of three percent plus a cpc of under one dollar is basically where you want to be now these are like you know i, I cover this in in um, in uh, some of my videos like basically the stats for ads are not like a kind of like mandatory it's not like you you absolutely have to abide by them but it's kind of like if if you are not profitable then you you have no one to blame but yourself because it's kind of like these metrics if your ads are not within this range or like worse then uh, probably your ads could be better so you have to just work um on that and improving your creative improving your ads getting better results on that front so you can be more competitive right this competition a lot of you know a lot of people are are basically fighting for the same customers and if you're good in creating ads then uh you'll have competitive advantage right so you have to know your numbers with Facebook ads. So just to just to show you an example, right? Very simple example. How a lot of people they kind of like um, you know disregard this and like it's you know they run they run products and ads that have like absolutely no chances of being profitable. For example, right? Let's say you're running a product, right? And let's say you 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 buying product for like ten dollars on AliExpress, and let's say you sell it for forty, right? So have like thirty dollars to acquire a customer now you're running traffic with facebook right and let's say you're like you've sent like 100 clicks or 200 clicks to your website and your conversion rate is like two percent right okay so it's like two percent so to get one sale you need 50 50 visitors to your website okay so 50 visitors right and then by your metrics by your click rate by your cpc you're getting clicks of let's say one dollar right so each click costs you one dollar so that means you'll pay fifty dollars to acquire a customer right it's not even like viable like to to advertise this way if you have those kind of like low margins right so then either you have to adjust your your ads so you're getting like very inexpensive like um cost per click right so you're getting clicks for like let's say you're getting if you're getting clicks uh for like 50 cents then um every um like let's say you still have the same conversion rate two percent so you still need 50 visitors to get a sale right so in that case you'll pay like 25 25 um dollars right 25 dollars to get a sale and so it's kind of like in this case it's doable right but then your ads need to be very good to get like 50 cents cost per click right so see see like it's kind of like the thought process that you have to go through like how to actually make it work like number wise right and how do i stay competitive still like so you you have like in this case so you you have 30 dollars to acquire a customer you have 25 dollars left then you still have to like charge back three funds like all of the other expenses kind of like very thin margin so you have to think like how can you improve that farther or how can you make your uh funnel stronger and some products are just not scalable some products have very low margins and they're not converting at a, at a you know hyper like high rate so that's kind of like what you have to keep in mind uh so kind of like before like when you're choosing products just just choose products that have like those higher margins ideally 
right? And, and it's very like simple calculation. CPC link click, right? Cost per click, um, link click uh, multiplied by conversion rate will be your CPA. So if your link click is, uh, let's say $2, um, very high, and your conversion rate is like, uh, let's say 3%, then out of every 100 clicks, you'll have um, um, like you need like basically 33 clicks to get a sale, right? So in that case, um, you just multiply that by 33 and you'll have cost per, cost, cost per purchase with Facebook $66. You need to have very, very good margins with that. So kind of like always calculate that, always make sure that you, you stay competitive and you still have a good margin to acquire a customer. So let's say your conversion rate is like 5%, right? So you need 20 clicks only to get a sale. And let's say you have, um, let's say you uh, basically cost per click is like 50 cents, right? So 50 cents. So it's basically 0 0.5 multiplied by 20. So in that case, your cost per purchase will be $10. I mean, you have good margins in that case. If you're, um, you know, if your basically margin that you can afford to acquire a customer is, you know, 20, 30, $50, then you can overspend your competition. You can scale up quite heavily. So always keep this in your mind, like do, to calculate all of these metrics before you even like start advertising. Like you need to know like what kind of like benchmarks, what kind of like KPIs you need to hit in order to hit your goals, right? Because otherwise it will just look random, right? You, you cannot do it that way. Um, and so that's one thing that you need to do. Another thing is funnel tweaks. You need to adjust your funnel. You need to, you know, in my experience, funnel scaling. Like for example, when you have, um, like basically when you find a winner, like scale it with funnels, uh, to overspend competition, we typically use click funnels, uh, funnels. And if you want a final template that works very well for us, uh, just comment final, uh, final template below and I'll send it to you. Final template below. Just comment it right now. So I'll, um, I'll send it to you. Um, and so, uh, basically final scaling is the way to go. And, um, uh, we use click funnels, funnels to, um, or you can use some other ways or other platforms to create funnels to set up uh, those funnels and you need higher, you know, average order value in my experience, like $100 plus for really like scalable funnel, $100 plus in conversion rate of 2% ideally. And if that average order value is lower, let's say $50, then your conversion rate has to compensate for it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like always that relationship, whether like basically the average, the lower your average order value is, the higher your conversion rate needs to be in order for you to be profitable. It's always that relationship between these two. So kind of like you, you always need to have those numbers in mind uh, when you're planning new campaign, when you're planning new product, right? So, and one of the ways to maximize that average order value and lifetime value of each customer is basically adding membership club or recurring you know, revenue if applicable to your specific business. So that is more advanced stuff. Um, and so I'll cover this one of my uh, next videos. I've covered one of the previous videos too. So several upsells, um, to maximize average order value too. So, uh, with ClickFunnels, for instance, we use like two to three upsells. Um, right. So basically we maximize our average order value. Ideally you want to be able to afford like 40, $50 to acquire a customer. Like two years ago, it was $20. You should, you, you could do very well with it. But now it's, I, I, you know, in my experience, like 40, $50 to acquire a customer, if you want to do well, um, ideally even higher. And then you can also add information product. Let's say you're in a niche. Let's say you're like in a fashion. Let's say you're in a, um, like makeup, let's say you're like sewing, like whatever niche you're in, you can always like add, um, uh, basically the information products. You can, you can teach people how to like, let's say how to do makeup, right? You can make like a course for like 27 or $97, how to, how to do like a makeup. You can find an expert or if you're an expert, just like shoot a video and basically have like, let's say, you know, 80, 90% profit margins in that upsell and sell it to your list, to your customer list. That's how you can make your margin higher. That's how you can be more competitive. And then once you know it's like highly converting offer, then you can just overspend on the front end. You can just break even on the front end because you know that on the back end people will buy this course and you will make money on the back end. That's how you kind of like need to think like those kind of like competitive advantages, competitive tweaks that like will, will just like put you in another league, right? Where you can just overspend your competition and still be profitable. And then, uh, maximize your email marketing, 
right? So um, in our businesses, we get from like 20 to um, 50 percent of our revenue from email. So I'll show you now. In this, uh, let me just show you. So you can see here, for example, this is the uh, this is one of our stores. 52 percent of the revenue came from uh, email marketing, right? Last like 90 days it was 290 thousand dollars. I mean, find me like. You know how else can you generate two hundred ninety thousand um, dollars in sales with you know with just by simply sending emails? That's why our profit margins are higher. We can overspend the competition like massively and still be profitable. And last year, just to show you here, uh, it takes some time to load, but I mean, you can see like we generated like one point six million dollars just from the email marketing, guys. I mean, that's how like. That's how like powerful this is. Um, so I highly recommend that like 50% of the revenue, like we're hitting like email very, very hard. Um, and so if you're looking for help with all of that, there should be a link below where you can apply to uh, to work with me and our team to, to basically structure like all of these processes, um, you know, in, in your business where you can spend more to acquire a customer where you generate like 20, you know, 30, 40 percent from your um, email marketing and you, you basically generate like massive, you know, massive profits on the back end. Right. So these are the final tweaks you need to do. Like if, if you want to do well in, in still in 2019, 2020 will be even more competitive. So and just remember that there are only two elements, they're ads and funnels. Right. So if something is not working for you, it's not because um, you know, it's not because Facebook ads or dropshipping is not working anymore. Like it's not because it's that is because you need to work on Facebook ads. I mean, people still buy stuff, you know, people still buy stuff. Obviously people became become like, like they, they're more aware, like they, they compare prices. They might be like, they might have bought, you know, from laser dropshippers. They might have had like bad experience, but people still buy stuff like e-commerce is like trillion dollar industries, huge industry. There is a lot of potential still. But you need to improve your approach and your funnel and ads need to be better. You need to level up. You need to level up like the project was working like 2016, 17, 18 doesn't work anymore. Uh, so you need to work on Facebook ads, basically making your ads more competitive. I outlined the whole like Facebook ad strategy for launching and scaling um, ads in one of my other videos and the funnels. Right. So I, I basically covered the final scaling strategy and also one of my other videos. And funnel scaling is basically where you take the product that's working with Shopify and you scale it with funnels for higher profit margins, for higher average order value. So you have higher basically margin to acquire a customer and, uh, you know, still be profitable. And if it's if, if that something doesn't work for you, right, if you're not profitable, then you just need to break it down into smaller pieces. You need to break it down into smaller pieces and find out the weakest link. So just to give you just to give you like example, right? So let's say um, let's say you get like 100 clicks to the website, right? Let's say you get 100 clicks to the website and then um, let's say um, 15 people, right? Let's say 15 people, right? 15 people add product to the cart. Right. And we typically aim for like 10 percent plus add to cart ratio. So let's say 15, uh, 15 percent of people have added to cart. But then only one person, only one person, only one person has actually completed their checkout. So 14 people like like 90, 95 percent of, you know, the people who've added to cart actually abandon their checkout. So now you want to figure out, like, why did they abandon their checkout? What happened actually? that they, you know, abandon their checkout. Maybe it's like the shipping price is too high. If you charge for shipping, maybe there are some like upsells that, you know, basically disrupt people from checking out. Maybe um, it's, you know, the, the like some other like bug or something, right? So you need to like reverse engineer. Okay, so how do I actually get people to complete the checkout? Um, or maybe it's like the price is just too expensive and expensive and they are hesitant. Maybe they just leave. To, to make more like research on your product. So maybe your, your selling mechanism, your selling like pages were not, you know, um, persuasive enough. Maybe you need to change that. Uh, so you can do like, you can use like Lucky Orange or other thing, other tools like to basically monitor the behavior of people on those like selling pages uh, on, on, you know, on checkout and um, uh, order page. But then you kind of like reverse engineer. Okay, so where is exactly the breakdown? Because 
if people add to cart, probably, you know, they're interested in the product, but for some reason, they are like abandoning their checkout. And obviously, uh, card abandonment sequence, recart, like all of those things, they, you know, they're highly valuable, highly useful for you to get the most out of, um, you know, the audience that you have, right? And just, just re re remarket and retarget the most of that audience, um, right? And just recover as, as many of them as possible, right? Um, and so that's basically you break it down into smaller elements, right? And the skill, to, the key to scale um, is basically having good uh, funnel and good, you know, ads, right? It's like with good funnel, um, like even, like sometimes like you have very good funnel with average order value of like 100, 150, 200 dollars, then your ads can be just average and you still could be like highly profitable. That's what happens with some of our funnels where, you know, our ads have like average metrics. We have like click rate link of like one, two percent, which is not exceptional, but then we have very strong funnel with high average order value and we are highly profitable. So just think about it, break it down into elements and, you know, make sure that you fix the issue and make sure that you're just leveling up um, in 2019, 2020 will be even more competitive and uh, you just stay, stay sharp and um, very competitive with your funnel. So do all these things, um, apply them to your own business. If you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want a funnel template that's working very well for us, uh, so you can just copy and paste it into your ClickFunnels account, then just copy, uh, just um, please comment funnel template below this video. So thank you very much, guys.